divide and express as a simplified rational expression. So we have one rational expression being divided by another rational expression. And once again, rational expressions, you can really just view them as fractions. And when you divide by a fraction, that's the same thing as multiplying by its inverse. So this expression right over here, this is the same thing as 2p plus 6 over p plus 5, I just rewrote this over here, times the inverse of this right over here. So times 4p plus 20 over 10. And multiplying rational expressions or multiplying fractions, pretty straightforward. You just multiply the numerators, and you just multiply the denominators. So the numerator over here is going to be 2p plus 6 times 4p plus 20. And the denominator over here is going to be p plus 5 p plus 5 times 10. So we've done the first part. We've divided the 2, which is essentially multiplying by the inverse of this. And now we want to simplify it. So to simplify it, one of these terms, we're probably going to cancel out with some of these. So let's, let's see if we can simplify these terms up here. So 2p plus 6, we can factor a 2 out. We can rewrite 2p plus 6 if we factor a 2 out as 2 times p plus 3. That's this term right over here. And then 4p plus 20, both 4p and 20 are divisible by 4, so we can factor 4 out. So times 4 times p plus 5 times p plus 5. And then in the denominator, in the denominator we just have a 10 times p plus 5. We just have a 10, we do that in that same, we'll do it in pink, 10 times p plus 5. So we can already start to cancel out a little bit. Both the numerator and the denominator have something that's a multiple of 2. We can divide the numerator by 2, and this will become 1. Divide the denominator by 2, and this becomes 5. And then we can also divide the numerator and the denominator by p plus 5, assuming that they're not equal to 0, assuming that the expression is not equal to 0, or that p does not equal negative 5. So if we divide the numerator and the denominator by p plus 5, these guys cancel out. And then we are left with, in our numerator, we have 4 times p plus 3. So we are left with 4 times p plus 3, p plus 3. And in the denominator, we are left with, we are left with just a 5. We are left with just a 5. And I've said this in previous videos, but if you truly, if you truly want this expression right over here to be 100% equivalent to this expression right over here, you all you do have to make the assumption you do have to make the assumption that p is not defined at -5 because if if you look at either well one if you look at this expression right over here actually either of these expressions are not defined when p is equal to -5 so over here you have to put the constraint that p so domain the, the domain is all real numbers all real numbers except except p is equal to negative 5. Or another way to say it is you could put any value for p here, and you'll get a defined answer, except if p equals negative 5, because then this is being divided by 0, and then this is being divided by 0. So if you really want this expression to be completely 100% identical to this expression, you have to put the same constraint. You could say, you have to say not defined, not defined at p is equal to negative 5, which is another way of saying that the domain is not defined there. Or you could also write the domain here is all real numbers for p, except for p equals negative 5.